Welcome to Great Online Training. This is Naidu. I'm going to explain question number 19 now. So let's talk about it. Here the question is for the data set input dot employee data. If the employee job title is manager and they have been in the company over 10 years. So then give them 10% increase to their salary. So that is the process. So what we need to do the question, the question is what will be the total cost for the company after salary increment? Okay. So what will be the total uh, 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 company uh, amount? So what will be the total cost to the company after the sal salary increment? That means the old salary plus increment salary total, how much the company need to pay the total amount they want it. Apart from that, how much is the 10% of your total amount for the company? So when you are increasing the 10%, how much they need to bear this year as extra than your old year? So we need that particular amount also. We need the total company amount, the total sum of the total value of the company plus. So only this particular 10% also. To calculate it, let me just jump into SAS. So they're asking me to use the SAS software here to take the data of employee, which is already the already been connected by using my libname statement and the library is already been connected and the employee data is here. So here you can see, so we have a managers and we have analysts also. So what they're clearly saying it. So the person, the job title is definitely a manager and the person is more than 10 years in the organization. Okay, so that means there are managers, one manager, second manager and third manager, three managers we have it, but that is not for the, uh, the case here. We need all the managers 10 years above people only to their managers. We need a 10% increment to their salary. That is what we need it. So first of all, we let's try to identify the data. So what I will do is data, I'll try to take a data set name as a test. I'll try to create it. So set, you copy the values from data. So your data set name, where it is, it is there in the input data set name. Input is your library within that. So employee data is your, uh, what I can say that uh, name of that particular data set. I'll simply copy it instead of I type it. So that no, it's quickly done. So employee data. So what they wanted is, you know, if, okay. So what they wanted, if a job title, so the column name is job title. Okay. In your data, if job title equal to what they wanted, if it is in a manager, they want it. And so the second condition is, and what they wanted, Definitely the manager is years in the company is more than 10 years. They want it. Okay. So I'm just trying to write it and years in the company greater than 10. I'm writing it. Then what they want to do for them only. Okay. So they want it. What they want it. They want to give a salary for a 10% of their increment. So here the salary information is there. So we need to calculate first of all percent is the new variable I'm creating it percent equal to the total salary divided by a 10 so that I will get it this amount as a the percentage now you just see in your new data set called test it is just created so go there and work library there you can able to find out so the employee data set let me close it test data set is created so there you can see only the main is the 12 years only the main is the 15 years have the year it is a 60 uh, uh, 6000 here it's a 7000 of their percentage okay so we need to give uh, uh, to this particular salary so right now the salary variable which is there I need to create a one more variable called new sal equal to new salary equal to I can create it uh, so that your uh, salary information. So what is that uh, salary is already there. I'm just doing a plus uh, to your percentage uh, how much you want it. You are just doing it. Uh, so now you can see the new salary for their employees and now you can go there. So the new salary for the employees. Uh, okay. So here we are just writing it uh, salary new salary equal to you see that 66,000 and 77,000 you are getting it but remaining values are missing 
So we need to find out or write a condition here. If job title manager, then your uh, cost of the company is 10% you are giving it. Uh, else, uh, you need to write a condition remaining all the persons if they are not managers like analyst are remaining other conditions else uh, we are just writing it uh, salary equal to salary only so i'm just writing it uh, so percent equal to so i'm just writing p e r c e n t percent equal to i'm just trying to um okay i no need to write it here first of all let's say new salary value information it is created so only new salaries are created here but the old salaries are here so what i can do is if new sal is missing i try to bring it because why it is missing if new sal variable value is missing okay equal to missing then let them bring their old salary to them so because there is no update for their remaining records you see so i'm just trying to write it uh, so new sal equal to missing then uh, so new sal equal to i'm just directly taking the data from uh, so salary so now i'm filling with old values also now can you just see now so wherever it is a uh, missing so so you see that here and here here all the records are missing now i'm bringing their salaries because there is no change in their salaries at all only the change on that particular salary here and here only those two managers having a 10 percent increment remaining people they didn't ask me anything so that there is no increment data so this is all about your new salary information so now you come to your question the question is they are asking simply okay could you please tell me what will be the total cost for the company after salary increment right so what i can do is i'll directly go to your uh, a concept name here in the proc step i'll try to write it proc print i'll try to write it data equal to your data set name i'm trying to write it uh, so as a test as already created i'll just use it so then i will try to write it sum sum of my hmm so sum of my uh, uh, salaries i need a sum and as well as new salaries sum also required okay for time being new salary sum also required i'm just writing salary is not required so new salary sum is required percentage sum also required how much is the percentage amount right we want it so this is my new salaries and run it so when you do it uh, execute your program so now i think you are just doing it uh, sum of your test and i need to give a space between new sal and percent uh, i'm trying to print it so now you can see so according to your question come to your question again so the question is saying it here so what will be the cost for the company uh, so after the salary increment the cost to the company after salary increments uh, it is around uh, uh, 3 lakh 13 thousand company need to pay the total amount uh, so what will be the percentage amount uh, around 13 thousand rupees extra than your old year so the extra amount is 13 thousand so the old salary is 3 lakhs now they are paying uh, 13,000 extra so the old salary also let me print it here so if you wanted the old salary value also to be printed as a salary to be printed I will do one thing I'll directly write it so salary if I execute it so the old salary is 3 lakhs and two two persons two managers they increase the salary as a 10 persons that is your 13,000 so 3,000 uh, sorry 3 lakhs plus 13,000 equal to total 13,000 uh, sorry 3 lakh 13,000 they have to pay so the amount is 3 lakh 13,000 the uh, the percentage is wise around 10 percent salary to the existing managers it's in around 13,000 rupees they need to spend extra for every month okay so this is a, a, a answer to those questions I hope uh, this question is helpful for your certification exam and so please stay tuned for uh, more upcoming questions be subscribed and click on the bell icon for more interesting updates thank you for watching